Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. I'm sorry if this sounds echoey. That's because I am in a garage. In my dad's garage. Um, or, no, shed, I suppose you call it. So, yeah, it is well echoey. Sorry about that. But, if you see, as you've seen, these were in the start of the video so something to do with skateboards anyway but I'm, today I'm going to show you how to ride a skateboard so I do have my camera action camera it's not like a GoPro or anything but it is here I did do an unboxing video of that so if you want to go on to my channel if you find this and you're recommended or you're searching for it if you want to go on to my channel Baldy's Adventures B-A-L-D-E-Y-S I know it's not spelled right but I don't really mind I'm going to tell you how to ride a skateboard um, I was videoing with my action camera I just still have it on me because it's actually quite comfortable and yeah I might do some more video so as you can see this one is broke so I might as well just take that off there we go I'll set this over here go away Bixby um so yeah as you can see I have a knee pad on this is good if you're a beginner and also a helmet you can hear that um and you don't really need these good shoes i'm just wearing my trainers but yeah make sure you have protection even if you are good you can still wear a helmet so first thing is when I'm actually skating this, I won't be holding it in my hand because like, I don't want my phone to fall out of my hand because it, it, like all cameras are expensive and if it's broke or if I break it, I'm not getting another one, trust me. Um, so yeah, first foot here. I actually might do this in like a lawn or something. Nah, that'll rack the barons, never mind. Actually, I can still do it in here. On here, it won't move as much, hopefully. So, first foot here. Um, actually, it's different on that skateboard. Oh, so much sun. That's much better. So, that skateboard over there, you would have your feet up here. But, on a long board, you... I typically have my feet here. Put all your weight onto your front foot. So then you can push off with here. With this foot. And then turn around when you are pushed. Once you've pushed. And you can loosen the trucks. Or tighten them. If you want to be carving on the skateboard. Then you loosen them. And if you don't want to, then you tighten them. So, yeah. So, you lean backwards to, if this is if you're goofy footed. So, you lean backwards to turn right. Lean forwards to turn left. But if you are um, regular footed, you would skate like this but I am not so you'd put your foot like this and skate like that then turn around so to turn so um backwards is left forwards is right so I will hopefully be good when I'm being recorded most of the time I'm not I'll just put my camera down here and you will see me skip oh, oh. Oh, 
hopefully that look cool on the camera. So, I am like really, really regretting this, but I'm gonna take it with me. Hopefully I don't really, really regret it, but also I will be doing it on this here. That skateboard. Um, also, I said about goofy footed and regular footed. Um, you can quote me on that or say in the comments if I am goofy or if I'm regular. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not like a big into skateboards, but I just find I. I've been watching YouTube videos and I was like, oh, that looks cool, but I can't do all those tricks. Then I've seen other people doing like longboard and other skateboard tricks, so I will show you me riding on the skateboard. And turn it around. And also, you guys can ask me any questions if you have any. Nope. Here. I have like a gorilla tripod, or a gorilla tripod. So I went like I went to turn, and my phone just went like that. So I'm sorry. About that, so yeah, that was on the longboard. Um, it this works with any skateboard, really. Um, so I'm gonna tell you guys on this one first because it's different foot positions, but it is the same on any skateboard. At least wear a helmet. You don't have to wear a GoPro strap, chest strap, but um, knee pads and elbow pads are optional. So, you want to put your feet here. I like putting mine, um, my toe over these. You can put it further back or further forward. Depends how big a feet you, feet you have. But this is like the normal size of any skateboard. Truck skateboard. Like and then go down you just adjust your foot position but I have this with me so I thought why not so you want to put your um toe above this so you can just see these bolts then your back foot you want to have you see them two bolts and then you turn them round but first you want to push off Um, oh, I'm just realizing this can strap onto a belt or something. We actually might try that. Or would that even work? No, nope, it would not. Tighten this up. Um. So, yeah, I will put it, my phone down here, set it down, so, like, different foot positions. You don't have to do it my way, but this is just to give you an idea. But also, same with a longboard, put your, all your weight onto your front foot, and then push off. Turning the feet angle right. 
I almost fell off there. So actually I put my foot here. Probably shouldn't because that's why I'm kicking up in there and then almost falling backwards. But that's why you have your safety on. So as I did with the longboard, I will put my um skateboard here. Put my foot here and I should actually be doing like that but I'm doing like that so and when I go to put my foot off I sort of go like that so this is just like a cruiser cost like 50 pounds Also, if you want to turn, you can do this. Also, this um, video was inspired by Andrew Schrock down at Revive Shred Quarters. So go to subscribe to him, him and his other YouTube channel he does with his son, which I think is really cool, um, is Turbo Toy Time. So definitely go check that out. Um, it's just like a toy channel. But go and check out his skating channel. And then there's other ones like John Hill, um, Sam Tabor, Ryan Bracken. They, they do really cool bottle flips. So yeah, they're all skateboarders. And he, if you want to get into doing tricks, then you can do um, go to his channel. And he tells you like five things you need for skateboarding, apart from a skateboard, and it's really cool. So this was inspired by him. It wasn't that the, I am pretty sure it was. There's other YouTubers who did how to skateboard. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, please subscribe and click that like button. So you can keep up with my content and click that notifications bell too. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.